Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Scooby-Doo Moon Monster Madness. Now this was a pretty interesting concept which is to take the Scooby-Doo mystery solving framework and applying it into outer space. Now the second half of this movie is definitely a lot more epic than the first half as the first half is definitely setting everything up and introducing you to the world and all of the different characters. But that being said, once everything is set up, this movie is truly epic and like I said, has a really interesting individual group of supporting cast and characters. So it's actually really, really awesome and I can't wait to break down Scooby-Doo Moon Monster Madness for you in this movie review. So the movie starts off by introducing us to the gang winning lottery tickets, which means they are going to be part of a select group of people they get to board a spaceship that is going to go all the way into outer space. Over there they have to solve a mystery about a mysterious alien that is coming onto the ship and they also have to solve something going on that is a little bit more sinister within the ship. So it's actually pretty high stakes based upon the fact that they are in outer space and they've got nowhere else to go to and a lot of life-threatening situations happening to them on the ship as well as outer space. There's also some side storylines as well in terms of some conflict happening within the Mystery Incorporated gang. Different alliances and allegiances with all the different characters within the wider group as well as Daphne trying to pass her driving test. So from a storyline point of view they're packing in quite a lot in Moon Monster Madness. So from a cast and characters point of view, Moon Monster Madness is actually pretty decent as all of the different characters have got their own little mini storylines whilst also being part of the bigger storyline as well which works really really well from a character's point of view so let's go through them one by one so first up we have Daphne and Velma who really have a true rift in their friendship and a lot of jealousy and a lot of bitterness between the two of them as Daphne scored higher than Velma in the space test and there is also a lot of jealousy from Velma because Daphne is becoming a lot more popular on the spaceship as well Fred is trying to be part of a group of the two ex-astronauts and they really don't want Fred to be part of them whereas Fred doesn't really get the message and is always kind of following them as a bit of a people pleaser so that's a really interesting storyline from Fred's point of view and Shaggy and Scooby are the first victims from the alien so they not only have to survive this but they also have to try to convince everyone else that there's actually an alien that is after all of them like I said right in the beginning, the supporting cast of characters are really, really great as well. They've got really individual supporting characters that work really, really well in this mini film. So the first supporting character is a footballer called U-Boat, who Shaggy and Scooby are massive fans of. We then have a talking robot that really adds a lot of hilarity to certain scenes. We then have a space travel expert who is the character that builds a big friendship with the Daphne Blake character as well. We then have a reporter on board as well, we have a billionaire and we also have an alien hunter as well and then of course we have the big alien that everyone is trying to survive from. So from a cast and characters point of view, Moon Monster Madness is actually pretty wicked. So from a visuals point of view, credit where credit's due, the animation in space actually looks really really impressive so I think the visuals in Moon Monster Madness are really really cool all of the life-threatening situations that these characters are in looks great from a visual point of view the anti-gravity scenes are really really cool all of the weapons are really really great and the alien himself also looks really really cool so from a visuals point of view Moon Monster Madness is pretty awesome So from a comparisons point of view, whilst the first half of this movie took a little bit of time to get going as it was a little bit slow, once it did get going it was absolutely brilliant and as a result I'll say it's on par with Scooby Doo Frank and Creepy, Abracadabra Doo and even Camp Scare. So I think from a comparisons point of view, whilst it took a little bit of time to get going, by the end of it it was definitely one of the good ones. So overall, I have to say, Scooby-Doo Moon Monster Madness is a pretty awesome movie. It's got a very unique setting in this film and a brilliant cast of characters, all really, really individual, and it's a very epic film. The twist at the end, the ending reveal, it was all really, really cool, and it truly did have some epic moments in there. And so overall, for all of the reasons above, I have to give Moon Monster Madness 
a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.